Hey, today we have Expedia at $47 and also today I'm closing the remaining short position on the stock. As I told you, I closed the, most of it a couple of weeks ago when the stock fell to 45 and 70 cents. And the reason I'm closing the remaining short position today and you can see here the alert that I gave you at 45 and 70 cents uh, if you wanted also to buy Expedia because in my opinion Expedia might very well be a strong buy going forward. The stock rallied to uh, $52 and uh, on my short term trade alert uh, uh, above 51 I told you to uh, close long positions and uh, to go short and here I'm closing the remaining short position at $47 and I'm doing so because uh, I believe that uh, this current price in Expedia or the region 45 to 47 it corresponds to a bear market price uh, uh, on the stock in other words I believe that uh, a bull market to develop in Expedia going forward, uh, the stock uh, it is uh, uh, a strong buy and the only thing that in fact it is missing is uh, earnings uh, and therefore the next quarters to uh, the company to execute. And uh, also I have to say that uh, the short side in Expedia, it has not been my priority. It was just uh, a trade. My priority on Expedia, it is uh, the long side. It is to invest in Expedia. And uh, obviously I prefer to invest in Expedia at these prices and uh, if possible even lower to that $45.70 rather than to invest in the company at that price uh, $60 plus. So uh, in the future uh, once uh, and if the company executes and uh, once uh, the pivot $58 and a half it is broken to the upside I think that this stock uh, in that case will not go back again to these prices. So this is my personal opinion about Expedia that uh, in other words it is a tremendous opportunity as a long term investment and you are very lucky uh, that Expedia is trading uh, at $47 and to go long while covering the stock. Thank you. Hi. In this video I'm going to discuss this company Expedia. I'm going to explain why last year I upgraded this stock to a strong buy, uh, $45.70, corresponded to uh, precisely the bottom in July. After earnings announcement uh, the stock collapsed from $65 all the way down to $0.45.70, $0.46 and then I reiterated the strong buy uh, rating in Expedia in October when the stock uh, uh, fell to uh, $48.50 ahead of earnings. Today we have Expedia uh, basically at uh, $70 and uh, going forward I'm going to explain the different scenarios that an investor uh, eventually can explore in this uh, uh, stock and whether you should continue uh, long Expedia or uh, sell the long position and even reversing to the short side. So all of these I'm going to respond, I repeat, during this video, since this talk uh, it is a very important uh, pick uh, for us in our portfolio. So having said this, uh, I'm going to say in first place that I'm a long-term investor in Expedia. And why I'm a long-term investor in Expedia? Because I last year in 2013, when the stock fell to uh, that $46, dollars, 
uh, I see that $46 eventually as a long-term bottom because that corresponds to a bear market price in uh, Expedia. Uh, having said this, uh, I remain long Expedia even at current prices. I have not seen any reason whatsoever to close entirely a long position in Expedia. After the rally, $46 all the way up to yesterday, the $72, that was the uh, high so far in 2014. The only thing that I recommended in the past week uh, to subscribers uh, that follow my service, it was to reduce the size of long positions if they wanted to. But uh, I repeat, uh, that I'm not uh, going to quit the long side in Expedia, uh, even if the share price uh, declines. So, uh, this to say, in other words, that uh, I don't think that uh, investors in this uh, company, this stock, should ever uh, quit uh, the long side in Expedia or selling short the stock and I repeat this, even if there is a uh, correction in Expedia. Because uh, I already addressed this in hundreds of cases in the past. Uh, you have to differentiate between uh, what is a wonderful investment, and you make wonderful investments precisely when Wall Street is downgrading stocks, and then you reduce the size of long positions, when uh, Wall Street is upgrading uh, stocks. This to say that last year, uh, when Expedia fell, uh, Wall Street downgraded the, the stock. So I found that a wonderful opportunity to invest in Expedia because even at uh, $60, the stock was already worth more than that. So no one should be surprised by the fact that Expedia uh, traded well above uh, $60 during the course of 2014 uh, and making new highs in 2014. Other thing that I have to say is that in my opinion, and I already addressed this uh, in fact to existing subscribers, uh, very few bought the stock at the bottom, uh, except uh, uh, those subscribers that they listened to my advice. And why is this important? It's important because um, in uh, last year, in 2013, after Expedia uh, announced uh, earnings in November, uh, I do believe that uh, then Wall Street uh, started buying the stock. That is to say, they started buying the stock and they have been buying the stock and they have been now upgrading Expedia. Uh, and therefore, they didn't buy the stock at $46. They bought the stock uh, well above that price, and therefore they bought the stock at $62 or $65, but they didn't buy the stock at uh, $46. And why is this important? It's important because this gives uh, offers to all of you that invested in Expedia when I upgrade the stock to strong buy, a very important question. Uh, so even if the, cor the stock corrects uh, to $63 and a half, I don't see that uh, a reason to quit the long side, the long term investment in Expedia, uh, because then the stock can bounce or rally again or even to make a new 50 week high.